Came from the dealership with the Yakima roof rack. It's got the plastic front bumper with the fog lights. We have a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder turbo. On behalf of modsandmiles.com and myself, I hope this video gives you ideas for your stock Bronco to bring it to life, give it that vintage feel that we all love. All the information and links to do this to your Bronco is all formatted clean in the description for you to make it as easy as possible. This intake is from our friends over at Panda Motor Works. Ooh. Do you think the intake will do much? I don't know, we'll see. Good. Hey, easy. This exhaust is pretty loud. <laughs> That's good. Crazy traffic. Got all this new horsepower. I need to use it. box is the Panda Power Module, a cool piece of technology to make your Bronco go a little bit faster. And then right here, this is a very vital part of this installation. Pry up on some of the wiring harness to get it out of the way for your high pressure fuel pump. back a little bit it will make a clip sound let's go ahead and plug this into our map sensor just like that press down slide it out there's our connection it only goes in one way ah and then it sucks it in with this purple thing that's cool Serial number has been entered into the phone. I didn't hit the next step. I went ahead and plugged in the battery. All right, we have fine tuning. Very, very simple, very straightforward, and as deep as you need to go with the app. This is a spare tire relocation bracket. up a little bit. I'll hold it up very gently without it touching the paint. Get it started. The 
brake light extension fits flush. And that, my friends, is a third brake light extension with a nice Rough Country branding to match. Get this on by hand. I'm gonna act like I'm smoking a nut. <laughs> Stick it up in here with it between my fingers. Solid unit right there. Brad Cactus Tint today in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're gonna be putting clear bra on the Bronco. Carefully measured and cut to a specific area of the vehicle that needs the protection. Some people cut it by hand. You can also use a plotter. It's for today. It's called Spectra PhotoSync. It's the best performing film on the market today. It blocks 99% of the infrared heat, 99% UVA, UVB, and has a factory look. It's legal on the fronts. This film blocks pretty much everything you feel. on how the PPF has been for taking care of it. Drive through car wash at home, every time it sits in the sun after, the paint looks perfectly flat. No micro scratches, marring. It just looks like it's like fresh paint all the time. I'm gonna show you the highest quality oil. I'm gonna show you what filter so you can skip the guy that asked you for help at O'Reilly's or AutoZone and head straight to what you need to get. This is Motul oil. It's not really sold in major stores yet, but it's the best oil you can get. This has been used in motorsports in other countries in Europe and such. And how many of these do you need by chance? Six quarts. You can get a five quart, a big jug, and then one of these and you should be good. You wanna run the Ford Motorcraft? Just the purest thing to do. FL 400 S. Safety. Take your oil cap off so that air can travel through the engine. Socket and ratchet or a wrench on. Oh, that came loose pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and thread in by hand. Snug, my friend. That is snug. Oh, 
put some oil around the seal and make sure the seal came off the old one. I'm ready to put some oil in. Pull this little lever, pull it up. This is actually a small motor that takes a little bit of oil. And just like that, we have the perfect amount of oil. In this box, we have a Rough Country Hood Assist. And mount them to the bracket with a nut on the back side. In between, you're gonna put this black square spacer put it on top. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the bottom of the bracket, slide it into that bolt. Got a lock washer on here. for the Bronco. I am so pumped on this build choice. Wow, it looks like a completely different vehicle. Way more in the direction that we're going. Last few minutes with no top off, we're pulling up to the paint shop, put the top on, the grill on. This thing's gonna look totally different. Looks sweet. So we used just a uh, Ford white, it's Chevy red. We did use the Chevy, just plain Chevy red. And then it's got high solids clear on it, epoxy sealer. Prep was pretty easy since they're brand new parts and, and there wasn't any imperfections. Basically we just, uh, we use scuff pads with like a uh, sanding paste. Yeah. And so it kind of helps sand it really good and it cleans it really well. And, and then that helps the paint stick it. So you can find me on Facebook, uh, A Disease Paint and Body. I'm on Better Business Bureau, I'm on Instagram, uh, a to Z is paint and body. It's uh, A T O Z E E S paint and body. I've been painting since I was like 12. How old are you now? I'm um, 30, about to be 35. That's so wild. Yeah, a little, a little wild. <laughs>finish i've got one finishing touch just to send this thing in the right direction this is my last day with the bronco so i had to wait these are 3d 
floor mats. If you're gonna be driving around town, you're not doing too much off-roading like this one won't be. This is the best floor mat right here. I have a link in the description, a discount code for you. Put these in and see how they look. You have little clips snap in, so this thing's not going anywhere. And it just has a nice, luxurious feel and look. It'll be easy to clean. The rough country ones that we got, that's if you do a lot of off-roading. There's gonna be some women driving this car in the future, so I think they'll really like this. Sheesh, those look nice. We're also gonna surprise Justin. My cousin has the four-door. We've got the full 3D setup, so if you have a four-door, you'll see what it looks like at the end of this video. That was old. Nice. They're sweet, huh? That fits. That fits really nice. It's like so tight, all the way down to under there. That'll grip groceries better. This project was made possible because of modsandmiles.com. James and BC, my homies who started it, who live down the road a little bit, are coming over. I wanna see the reaction to the complete transformation and share that with you. If you don't know what modsandmiles.com is, it's a car auction site where you might sell your next vehicle that's modified or high miles and it's in good shape. Or you might buy your next modified vehicle from someone like myself who just loves on vehicles, who wants to get the most out of a car's personality and just pass it off in great shape. I have Mods and Miles linked down in the description. Let's see what James and BC think of this thing. While we're waiting, I want to tell you the one thing I would do different. In the leveling kit from Rough Country, I would throw in the bottom spacer or only the two top spacers, like the circular ones, probably do those. Stack those on top, don't do the bottom one. And with the weight of the bigger wheel and tire on the back, this would be sitting perfectly level. Right now, it's a little bit low in the front. That's my only nitpick thing on this vehicle. I think it's amazing. It looks like a, like a toy now, kind of. That's what the uh, Mike who did the stripes because it looks like a Tonka toy now. Yeah, <laughs> it is amazing. Photoshop to reality. What do you think, James? You haven't seen this thing in a minute. I know. Last time I saw it, it had dinky little tires on it. <laughs> um, it looks great. The stripe really does it. If you enjoy this transformation, I have another one for you right here. This Audi RS3 has a five-cylinder turbo. It's half of a Lamborghini Huracan motor with a turbo on it. You'll really enjoy it and maybe you didn't know about this car. I'll see you over there.